2023, if Tinubu becomes our president, Nigerians will suffer the consequences of corruption. Ayodele, we don't tire to suffer big. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Nigerians, primates are Elisha Ayodele, the founder and the general overseer of the Irish Evangelical Spiritual Church, recently shared a message with the public via a video on his TikTok profile. During the speech, the cleric reportedly said, it is rather regrettable that many Nigerians constantly have the spirit of this skepticism, even when I have the opportunity to speak about predictions uh, surrounding our nations, Nigeria. I have, I have ended on this by advising everyone to keep their fingers across, since the Lord's prophet has predicted that everything will happen as predicted very soon. He continued, if Tinubu becomes our president, Nigerians will experience the effect of corruption as we wait for the inauguration in a few days now. God has revealed to me that this government will modify the one, one, one Naira budget to be 20 billion Naira. Thus, I believe this. Now that one of the most prominent religious leaders in Nigeria, Primate Elisha Ayodele, has reviewed it, Tunubu becomes our president. Nigerians will suffer the consequences of corruption. It has made a lot of people to react and drop comments as some said. Ayodele is not lying. Why some claim that Ayodele himself is more of a corrupt corruption than Tunubu? Let these nonsense pastors just fix their churches, collect money from the poor to enrich their purses. What concerns pastors with politics? May, may God save us from these fake pastors. It is your family that will suffer in Jesus' name. You are the one going to suffer. Nigerians, you are a wicked man by wishing your country bad back to sender. When someone wake up in the morning and told that he saw his dead father in dream, who are we going to ask? He let's wait and see. Okay, guys, those are some reactions from Nigerians. The primate Elisha Ayodele, the founder and the general overseer of the Arik Evangelical Spiritual Church recently shared a message with the public via a video on his TikTok profile. During speech, the cleric reportedly said, it is rather regrettable that many Nigerians constantly have the spirit of skepticism, even when I have the opportunity to speak about pred predictions surrounding our nation, Nigeria. I will end on this by advising everyone to keep their fingers across, since the Lord's prophet has predicted that everything will happen as predicted very soon. He continued, If Tunubu becomes our president, Nigerians will experience the effect of corruption as we wait for the inauguration in a, a few days now. God has related to me, uh, God has revealed to me that his government will modify the 100, one naira budget to be 220 billion naira. Thus, I believe this. Okay, guys. <laughs> we are not say we don't to hear so many prophecies consigning those who will win the election and those who will lose. Though some came to pass and some never came to pass. And the prophecies, or can I say, predition, is still ongoing. Majority of Nigerians do not see Bola Matunubu as their president. Though, 
pastors, prophets, pastors and prophets have said that Tinubu is the will of God and no one can change it. Just like as Ayodele is saying right now, that if Tinubu becomes Nigerian president, that Nigeria is going to suffer the effect of corruption. You understand? So that means the 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 they will say the beautiful ones are yet to be born. So all this suffer when we don't they suffer since eight years now. It never do. Me, I don't tire to the suffer. You understand? I don't tire. I don't want to suffer again. That is the truth. I don't want to suffer again. We have seen a lot. We have gone through a lot in the hands of this APC government. And we don't pray to go through another one again. It has been here. If you live in Nigeria, if your family lives in Nigeria, you will understand what I'm talking about. Nigeria is a great country. And we are great people. Nigerians can make anything from any anything. And that is why outside the, you know, they respect Nigeria for Nigerians for that. We know they care about Nigerian government, whether they give us food or not. We want to create things by ourselves. We want to do things by ourselves. What we have been asking the government to beg. First of all, when we choose a leader, give us whom we said this person will need us. I bet take good care of our roads. Take good care of our schools. Stop allowing our, our children to be staying at home in the name of ASO strike. Do something about the health center. Not that any, any little thing like this, you don't travel, you don't go abroad. But the health center in Nigeria here, yeah, we are suffering. Build our, our, our bridges, our roads. Construct these roads. Make Nigeria a conducive place for us. And I know that we are not asking that much. So what is it taking the government to do all that? Know that they don't have the opportunity to do it. So guys, you've all heard it now. Um, Bola Metinubu will be inaugurated on Monday, May 29. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.